Imagine this scenario. You're in a foreign country, you rented a car, and now you're driving through the countryside in search of a place called Sound City. But after hours of driving around, you realize you're lost. You have no idea how to get to Sound City, and you can't find any street signs to guide you. Then, just when you're about to give up all hope, you see a man on the side of the road with a sign. The sign reads, I am from Sound City. You can't believe your luck. Surely, this man can guide you to your destination. You drive up to the man and ask him, Hey, man, am I so glad to see you. I've been searching for Sound City for hours, but I swear I've just been driving around in circles. Could you please tell me how to get there? The man stares at you blindly for a moment and says, Yo, not in Sound City. Yo, lost. You're a bit taken aback by his reply. It wasn't the answer you were looking for. So you ask again, Um, yeah, I know I'm lost. That's why I'm asking you for directions. So please, can you tell me how exactly do I get to Sound City? The man responds, I'm sorry, but I do not know how to give you directions to Sound City. Huh? You think to yourself, what's this guy talking about? Why can't he just answer my question? Maybe there's some sort of miscommunication. Maybe you just need to spell it out a bit more clearly. Listen, you're from Sound City, am I right? Yes, sir. Born and raised. Spent my whole life in Sound City. Great. So if you're from Sound City, that means you can give me directions to Sound City. Am I right? Sorry, but as I said, I do not know how to give directions to Sound City. You see, on account of the fact that I was born and raised in Sound City, I just sort of always knew how to get there. I never really had to learn the directions. Therefore, I do not know how to give directions to foreigners like yourself. The only thing I can tell you is that at this present moment in time, you, sir, are not in Sound City. You, sir, are lost. You can't believe what he's telling you. How can someone know something and not be able to explain it? What use is this man? You already know that you're lost. You don't need anyone else to tell you that. What you need is precise directions to Sound City. But apparently, this guy is not going to help you out with that. So you drive off and continue to drive around aimlessly for hours, slowly giving up all hope. Now, as strange as this story may be, it's actually exactly like the experience language learners go through every day with their language tutors. But... Before I explain how these situations are related, let's review what we learned in the last video. In the last video, we talked about how conversation in a foreign language can really suck if you have trouble understanding and speaking. Then, we talked about how the traditional approach to solve these problems is just to learn new vocabulary and grammar. But as you may know from experience, this approach doesn't really work. To really solve the conversation problem, you need to attack it at its root. And the root of all language is sound. Every language has its own set of elemental sounds. And when you're learning a new language, some of these sounds will be unfamiliar to you. These missing elemental sounds are like missing keys from a keyboard. If you don't add these sounds back into your keyboard, conversation will always be unclear. That's why we gave you the elemental sounds checklist for free. With these checklists, you can review all the elemental sounds in your target language and figure out which sounds are missing from your conversational keyboard. Then once you figure that out, the next question is, how do you learn these missing sounds? And this brings us back to our story of being lost in a foreign country. You have a place you need to be, Sound City, and you find someone who's from that place, but he can't give you directions. This is exactly what it's like when trying to learn pronunciation from a native speaker who is not trained in phonetics. Here's how pronunciation lesson goes with your typical language tutor. He says, I am saying ha, but you are saying ha, please. Try again to say it like me, ha. You can barely hear the difference, but you try again anyways. Um, ha. No, 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 no. You are still saying ha. I am saying ha. You must say it like me, ha. You are saying it wrong. You get frustrated. Yes, yes, I already know that I'm saying it wrong. That's why I'm paying you to teach me. So could you please just give me clear directions on how to say it right? To this, your teacher stares at you blankly. I'm sorry, but... I do not know how to explain the directions for making this sound. I spent my entire life speaking this language, so I just sort of know how to say it naturally. All I can tell you is that the way you're saying it now is not correct. The way you're saying it is wrong. Now do you see the connection? Just like the man with the sign, your language tutor can tell you that you're in the wrong place, but he can't give you exact directions. Knowing how to say the sounds has always been second nature to him, because he was born and raised in that language environment. 
Just because someone is a native speaker, it doesn't mean that he can give you clear directions in pronunciation. So if native speakers can't help you with your pronunciation, then how do you learn new sounds? Well, what would you need to do to find Sound City? Simple. You just need to find a good map. With a good map, you can figure out where you are right now, where you need to be, then move along the path between those two points. So to answer the question, how do I learn missing sounds? You need to take the same approach. Find a map of your mouth. Figure out where your mispronunciation is, then figure out where the correct pronunciation is. Then finally, move along the path between these two points. You see, when you're driving your car, you are navigating the physical terrain of the earth. Similarly, when you're pronouncing the sounds of language, you're navigating the physical terrain of your mouth. So when a native speaker says to you, you're pronouncing that wrong, what she's really saying is, you're moving your mouth in the wrong directions. So to learn your missing sounds, you need to find a map of your mouth, get a feel for the landscape, then move your tongue, lips, and other articulators in the right directions. And that, my friend, is precisely what you learn to do in our Elemental Sounds Master Classes. In it, we help you visualize pronunciation by giving you the proper maps and diagrams of the mouth. With this visualization, you'll be able to tune your ear and mouth to match the native speakers. Then, with perfectly tuned hearing and pronunciation, you'll be able to learn faster, understand more, and speak with a better accent. Now, to achieve this, there are quite a few maps and concepts you'll need to learn, more than we can cover today. But to give you a taste, we've created another free resource for you, Vowel Visualization Maps. Use these maps with your Elemental Sounds audio playlist, and you'll be able to visualize vowel pronunciation in your target language. We have maps to show you the five vowels of Spanish, the eight vowels of French, the 11 vowels of German, and the 10 vowels of Portuguese. Here's how it works. There are three physical features that make one vowel sound different from another, nasality, lip roundedness, and tongue position. We cover nasality and lip roundedness in detail in our masterclass, but for now, we're just going to focus on the most important feature, tongue position. The vowel chart is supposed to represent the sideways view of your mouth, with your teeth on the left and the back of your mouth on the right. If you make the E vowel from C and T, for example, your tongue will be in the highest and most front position. But if you pull your tongue directly back, you'll get the U vowel. Try it out. E U E U. The U is the topmost and backmost vowel sound in language. Now, if you move your tongue directly down, you'll get the ah sound from hot and rod. This is the lowest and backmost position of the mouth. Try feeling the up and down movement by alternating between the two vowels again. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. You know how you can use a North Star or the Southern Cross to help you orient yourself on Earth? Well, you can use the ah, e, and oo sounds to help you orient yourself in your own mouth. You can also think of the directions of up, down, forward, and back as the cardinal directions of vowel navigation. Same as how north, south, east, and west are the cardinal directions of earth navigation. So, if you had a map of all the vowels in your target language, and you can figure out your starting point, then you can move up and down, or north and south, to get closer to the point. Or you can move forward and back, or east and west, to get to it. Just enter your email address below, and we will send you the vowel visualization map for your target language. Once you learn how to visualize the vowels of your target language, you'll be able to adjust your tongue position to the correct pronunciation. Then once you can do that, your hearing and understanding will improve dramatically. But you'll still have other problems to address. For example, tongue position is only one of three features of a vowel. You can have the perfect tongue position, but if one of the other features are still off, you'll still mispronounce the vowel. Also, most of the elemental sounds in a language are not vowels, but consonants, and they have an entirely different map to learn. But don't worry, all these things are very easy to learn and internalize forever, but only if you use the right program. Your language tutor won't be able to help you learn pronunciation any more than a man from Sound City can help you reach your destination. To learn all of your missing sounds, the best guide will be this Elemental Sounds Master Class, which we'll be opening registration for from May 16th to May 23rd. After registration, we will sell the course at a normal premium product rate of $147. But for this one week period, you'll get a chance to purchase it at a serious discount. Stay tuned until next week to find out what that discount is. In the meantime, I want to give you one more free item next week, a free sample lesson from the masterclass. I designed this masterclass to give you all the maps, tools, and resources you need to master the elemental sounds of your target language and fix your conversational keyboard. 
I do this by going over every single elemental sound in as much detail as possible, providing you with all the helper audio, video, and visualizations you need. So you'll get a chance to experience this process yourself with the free sample lesson. Then, if you find it useful, you get a chance to pick up the masterclass at discount, but only if you act fast. So in the meantime, have fun with the valve visualization maps, and I'll talk to you next time.